Hi friends, this is Sarah. Welcome to Crafting and Relaxing. Today's video is for Smash That Small Paper Pad. This is a collaboration sponsored by Deb Hauk of Deb Hauk's Crafty Cottage. And we roll out videos on the 25th of each month and we use small paper pads. And lucky for me, you don't have to finish them because I didn't finish this paper pad this month, so maybe next month. So let me show you. I made six cards and they're all pretty different. I had some fun sitting in front of the TV and doing different things. I do have a process video coming out soon, so if you'd like to see that, come on back. On this one, this is a Be Happy, and I've put some flowers around it, and then just messed with some little embellishments that I had and put those. I haven't put scraps inside yet since I'm not done, but I do save them all, and I can add those later. And then another Be Happy. On this one, I had some fabric. I couldn't really introduce yellow in this card because if you look at this, the fabric is really kind of greenish and dingy if you do that. So I just kept it simple. I went with the wood grains out of the paper pack and just used the fabric. And then I have some sparkle on that B. And I was experimenting with using bees for different sentiments. And so I had these stickers and I have this one where it's kind of laying there looking all cute. And I put it on a flower and put a bow and the sentiment says, welcome little one. I thought that was just kind of cute with the polka dots. So really using bees in different way, not just bee themes or bee pun kind of cards. I also made a happy birthday card with the bee and I layered the die cut pieces and happy birthday to you. And these sentiments had been sitting in my room needed to be used. And then I have some clear embellishments on here for texture and I've used the scallop punch. So just add some interest. This one, I did some interesting cutting of the paper and put some brads on it. I couldn't figure out where I wanted my sentiment on the front. So I went ahead and put be happy on the inside. So you have the layers of paper and the dimension with the brads. And then this one is like super clean and geometric. I used a hexagon die that came in a set that I hadn't used and a layered B and birthday blessings and this paper that has not a variegated, but it changes, right? It changes color completely. And I thought that was pretty fun. So I had my yellow up at the top really clean looking geometric card. Like I said, I will, when I'm done, add bits of paper to the inside or maybe some stamps just to dress them up a little. I have a little B stamp and some other things. And I still have a lot of paper left. Like I said, I made six cards. So I'll be working with this paper and I think I'll look through my stash and see what other sentiments I have or other stamps just to mix it up and add variety. If you're a new crafter and you don't have a lot of stamp sets or dies, think about using one stamp set for a variety of sentiments. Birthday cards, thinking of you. I think we can do a lot with one or two stamp sets or sets of dies and really get creative mixing things up. And that's what I was having a little bit of fun doing here. I have very different color palettes going on, different layouts, and I just had fun mixing it up. They don't all look the same. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the other collaborators and see what they've done for Smash That Small Paper Pad. This is a really fun collab and we use stuff up. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.